Hello there, this is a Good Guy Palps, and we are starting episode two of this long England Empire game, and we didn't get the religion last episode, unfortunately, but now it's time to build up our navy, or at least work on getting to that point, and build up our empire and then our navy, I guess. So, uh, we will have to go down that route. Someone built the pyramids, makes sense. Let's move them here, and then use this guy's boat charge to remove the amber. Really wish we had that. You know, it'd be cool if you could trade tiles. I, I can't imagine that being that hard of a mechanic, but it'd be like, hey, I'd like to buy this tile from you for, you know, X amount of, of gold, or even faith or something, you know, transfer any currency, really. He has one build charge left. Let's get him up to get kind of improvements all throughout this empire. Not really a reason not to, including the wheat, for example. I don't know why I didn't improve that last time. And we do get production from all these, which is really nice. All these C improvements. He's got two charges, but he's got multiple improvements to make, so we're going to send this guy up as well. Okay. Faith, we can use it. We don't get the religion, but we can use it if we do some things right. We might have to get, um, what's it called? Uh, that second government building that just lets us buy military units with faith, for example. That could be really good um, in this situation. Now, we could get more builders. It's not a bad idea to really kind of just get this whole thing improved. However, I think exploring is even more valuable. So I'm going to get a galley here. So we kind of have a couple galleys going around. Um, and since we're the envoy already, I'm going to grab uh, Cardiff. So it looks like France... Oh, they were eliminated. That's right, they were eliminated. So that one's is really starting to take over. Funny. It's like alternate history, right? Um, in fact, when we were going on that European trip, um, my wife and I, we almost went to the ones, but coronavirus. Inspiration so is a mere reed shaken in the wind. Unfortunate. So neither of these policies are great yet, but this might be really good later. I think yeah, we take this the great scientist points, even though we don't have a campus yet. Now this is a bit more debatable. Plus one amenity and three housing on cities with governors. That's ideal for a smaller empire. Ancestral Hall lets us build a ton of settlers quickly. And we get free builders. I think this is going to be the, the best thing. Either that or a Warlord's Throne. It depends on how much conquering versus settling we'll do. And I don't know what we're going to be doing out here. It depends. If there's anything that's unsettled, we, we immediately colonize it with settlers, right? That's the best case scenario. Otherwise, we either capture cities or destroy them and then settle. So I think we're going to go with the Ancestral Hall. Yeah, I think that's the best thing we can do. I think that's um, the right thing to do. Foreign trade, we definitely need that. That will really boost us. We need some trade routes. Roads would be nice for one, but also Netherlands is good to trade with. Having completed the holy site here, uh, let's improve that. And then with his blast improvement, let's actually send... Yeah, that's actually... Yeah, that's still fun. Let's send this guy to here, actually, and then let's send him to the pearls. Now, we could have Cardiff just kind of focus on a bunch of builders. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we could improve Pingala, or start working on Magnus so that we can get settlers out without losing population. However, until we really know what's out there, it's not really worth it. So I think it's better to take the science. Especially since we're behind, right, in our science. next turn. Your seas are unprotected. We'll see about that, Norway. 
Soon I'll have a dope navy, and you're gonna be my best friend. She's got two left, this guy also has two, so we're gonna improve that. Oh, interesting, this might be... I might want to come explore this. With one of the galleys. Not with the builder. irrigation didn't even think about how we hadn't boosted that yet discover second continent that's already been boosted wait it's not oh no because we discovered europe and this is all one continent hmm well we will boost that eventually but probably too late probably we'll spend the gold on trade routes as soon as we uh unlock foreign trade let's see if there's anybody that can still trade with now that we have extra of multiple things they are completely bankrupt i think greece was the only one that was really seemed to be doing well Wouldn't be convenient to have iron in the bank. For 30 turns? Yeah. Accept. Alright, so there's no reason to do that. Now we have pearls, so our amenities are just doing absolutely fine. Now he wants that one time deal, three gold. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. Nay. Next turn we get irrigation. Hingard is already built though. Oh nice. Thousands have lived without And that boost. Um other oh, celestial navigation, so that is next. So we definitely want that. Let's get writing. And celestial navigation. I'm taking this guy this direction, and let's take this galley west. And then this builder, let's use to actually make an improvement rather than explore. And let's improve the dies. Could get another galley actually. Let's do that real fast. Um, just because there's a lot to explore. Hoping we can get to the like Greenland and discover the Americas. An enormous and lofty Ooh. column of flame allowed the people in Holt to read as perfectly. Beautiful. So here's Iceland. We definitely want to get a settler here. Now that we're exploring, we can really see some of this delicious world. In all its glory. In this sea. Another and wonder. In nice. So they got a religion. Jerks. And that's their capital. I'm going to try Norway next time on this map. That's a sweet starting location. Assuming they're not landlocked with mountains here. Okay, so uh, Iceland would be good. If we had, especially if we had a religion. Otherwise, it's not actually that good. It's only three tiles. One of which we have to be the city. And then snow over here.
Okay, so unfortunately it looks like we can't come this direction anymore, so we're not going to discover a second continent that way. However, we might discover one south, and I'm saying that because of this boost, we might actually... So we have better odds of getting it than I had thought originally. Oh, what's this? Free cities. Oh, that would be sweet if we could conquer this city. Horses for iron? Yes, I accept. Okay, let's see. We've completed the government plaza building. Could get a warrior. That seems pointless. Same with the holy site prayers. Wasted production there. Could get settlers and have them ready to settle. However, until we can actually get into the ocean with them, which has probably got to be this one of these, oh, it's shipbuilding. Oh, it's way out there. So yeah, no reason for that. I think we just either want to get the shrine so that we can just get more faith. Although I think it's more valuable to um, queue up some builders here. Greece is starting to be friendly now that we're trading. I think it's great to make a friendship on behalf of democracy. Very nice. He has marble, which we would like, but he's not going to be willing to trade it, since this is only one. Now, we could either do that again and work, uh, improve Pingala again, I mean, and get the culture. Or we can um, work on Magnus, mostly because... Well, because uh, we're going to be getting settlers eventually in London. But because it's not yet, I think we want to improve Pingala again and get our culture going. It's really nice that they... I can just go explore and see all of their stuff. And actually, it might be worth spending the gold to get the galley and just get down here faster. We're still gonna have enough gold, I think, to get a trader, anyways. Okay, so now that boost should finish that uh, civic for us. So let's grab early empire, since that's already boosted, and we need to be able to close our borders, among other things. And now we can start working on some more improvements. The monastery, unless we're hurting for housing which we aren't anywhere yet, except for Scotland. Actually, not even there now because of the uh, fishing improvements. So, yeah, not worried about that. Let's start working on other improvements, such as mines, which, yes, we'll replace eventually, but that's okay. Oh, and then, yeah, the plantation would be really good. I took that guy there beforehand, knowing that. We just gotta explore over here. Beautiful. Have another uh Callie, let's go see what's here and see if the city's um vulnerable. Now, I think it's probably best to get some more builders. It's probably better than shrines. Cardiff is doing yeah, just fine on housing, so let's get mines. All right, so here's Germany. And this world is big. They're pillaging their own districts, or what used to be theirs, at least. 
And there's the Amsterdam. So it is, oh wow, it is um, vulnerable. And it's going to actually flip to us. We were flipping it. Huh, couldn't, didn't even know the city was there. However, there's a chance they're taking it. They're attacking it, right? It's got low health. So I'm going to move these ships over here as fast as possible. Hoping there's a way here, but I actually don't think there will be. Because getting that city would be just, well, be awesome. Especially because it's their capital and they and they have Paris. That's just funny. These Germany's actually would be way over here. Yeah. I forget how big this map is. Hey. It's an order to meet you. Ooh, we've ne Okay, so that should boost. If I assume... Hey, Krakow. I, that's where we went. We went to Poland. We were in Krakow. It was awesome. That's still the same continent, unfortunately. So, it's ours in five turns. So they're shooting it with archers. Okay, so there's Cologne, yeah. We'd have to come all the way back. I'm afraid of attacking it. See, they don't have anyone close enough to actually take it, so I'm just gonna let it fall to us for free. I almost feel like a, like because of that I need to build one monastery just for fun, but we'll see. Now, if Spain hasn't been settled, we're gonna start cranking out builders. Or builders, I mean settlers. Let's wait to the class Clara. Writing is easy. We can start getting campuses. We're obviously behind. They're in dark ages. We made a normal age. don't have a religion. This would be good. I think we're going to take Monumentality. Ooh, I guess getting the error score from the Eurekas. Now we're going to build a lot of districts, I think. Now that we can get campuses. As soon as this builder is done. We're going to put this campus probably right here. So we're going to wait till the builder's done and then do a chop. That in mind, let's go ahead and grab archery. Completed the shrine up here. We're gonna be sending some troops this direction to make sure we hold Amsterdam without too much of a threat. So let's move some troops that direction. And we have a weak army compared to everyone else. It has eight, and I don't really want to reduce its population, so... The fact that they, I can go through all their borders without having open borders means none of them have really empire, which means they're really hurting culture-wise. Which, yeah. Well, Russia's doing great, though. That's fine. We're also going to have some problems with, uh, with Germany. Especially as we take Amsterdam in... Three turns now. It was luxuries like air conditioning that brought down the Roman Empire. Okay, With air conditioning, their war windows were shut. They couldn't hear the barbarians coming. Now we're definitely going to want to probably use this pretty soon. Um, we are getting a lot of builders though. But before I confirm that, um, let's continue to explore and see what we find. So that got boosted, so we need... It did get boosted. We just didn't... needed to get a little bit more culture for it to work. What can we build for one turn? I'd like to put the campus there. 
Don't can't boost it. We could work towards a settler. That's probably the best thing. Hmm, I think now we can work towards Magnus. It's either that or get the great purse people points. I think let's get Magnus. Let's go ahead and put him in Cardiff for now. We're probably gonna have to move him to Amsterdam pretty soon. Ooh, I don't think anybody's in Spain. Team of Settler is going to be the best case scenario. Scythia, I'm sure they've been at war for a long time. With, you know, someone. The other thing is that we can really fight Norway. All well, our cities the are coastal. That's aspect of trade, I suppose. The world gets stirred up together. Oops. Um, let's go north first and see what's up there. We can get another trade. We can get a trade route. Let's chop this. And then use the campus. Then probably continue to build mines and other things. That's a really good tile, so we're going to struggle a bit without it. We're going to really need that Royal Navy Dockyard here pretty soon. Okay, so it's rebels in two turns, but they do have the infantry there, so we're going to go ahead and take it. Uh, we're going to keep the city. Oh, we can't move our units there yet, huh? Dang. Luckily, we are friends. They can't go to war with us yet. Getting walls and something like Amsterdam is going to be pretty necessary to hold this ahead. For now, let's work on repairs. And let's go ahead and get a trader in London. Oh, our, can our traders? No, they can't go in the ocean. You're right. Maybe they can go coastal, though. Let's see. No, 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 Bucks. We're going to need to get the trader here in Amsterdam. Choose a civic, I think. See, we're actually leading with civics now. Theology would be okay. Getting temples, holy site agency bonuses, and their envoy. Drama poetry is not bad, but I think I want to get grab military tradition. We really want to get the mausoleum. Oh, wow, you have to get all of the, or this one. Weird. All right, let's just start with this, and then we'll figure it out as we go. give naval units oh wow that is really nice I'm gotta remember to take all these units over there eventually okay so we've met Lisbon do we have any envoys left over no they would be really really nice to have though and we definitely want to see if anyone has settled Spain Okay, that's fine. Not on us. I shot an arrow into the air. It fell to earth. I knew not where. We got archery. Okay, so now we can discover where iron is. Which is pretty valuable. I think I'm going to grab the wheel, though. Okay, so we need actually iron working for to get celestial navigation. So we're going to do that. I would heal up this galley. I'm gonna get that promotion. Now, I think we should trade with Paris simply because the Netherlands will be friendlier with us. Now we could trade with Cologne to get some production. Like we're already friendly with the Netherlands. Let's do that. We'll be able to see a bit more here. 
hopefully that makes us a bit more friendlier with um, Germany. Who is this color? It's clear. Russia is clear. That is... I guess there's just too many civs in the game. Okay, so we need open borders. Or we can go to war, which I don't want to do. How... I think you... Do you have to be the suzerain of them? I'm not sure. That's really annoying. You can't just go around. Hmm. Okay. Next turn. Nice. Continue to get builders, because we have lots of improvements to make. Okay, because now that we have a trade on didn't trade with them, they're not happy, but we're still declared friends, so it shouldn't be a problem. And we'll get another trade route eventually. I'd really like to improve Amsterdam, though. Well, then we can get foxes if we purchase this style. send this builder here to start making all the repairs necessary and I'm gonna build a campus we're gonna put the Royal Navy dockyard here not a gr any great places for the campus except for maybe this tile Also, let's get the builder here. The campus here would be good. I actually think we'll put it here. And we'll put the Royal Navy Dockyard here, and that way we can keep these mines. Let's move him to finish after this next builder. Germany again, not happy. Okay, they'll give us open borders and 113 gold. I think that is good. I don't underrate the value of military knowledge, but if men make war in okay. slavish obedience... Let's see. Scientist points are still good. Two gold per trade route is going to be... Actually, no. Oh, I forgot to go back and do that. Dang it. I totally thought I'd done this already. This is much better than what we had in there. The settlers would also be good, um, but we have a few. We'll put another civic before we need to do that. So, that's good for now. Let's get recorded history. Now, with our envoy, let's send it to Lisbon. The turn would be sent it to Brussels and work on becoming them to get our boost towards. Wonders. Actually, maybe that is better. Plus, we get a ton of exploration wherever they are. They gotta be. Brussels is like right here, right? Yeah, so let's. Let's actually hold on to this envoy until we get the second one. Which we should get. And uh, it might actually be a little while. Okay, so this guy has got one more improvement. We already got these whales improved and that fish. So we're good there. We could get the camp though. Let's do that. It's a really nice city for St. Petersburg. That's their capital. Oh, nice. So Poland must have been defeated. Because Krakow should have been their capital. They probably got squashed in between Russia and Germany. And Germany's losing loyalty. And I won't, not terribly, they are in a dark age too. So if they could survive that, they'll be fine. Lots of building opportunities. Hmm. 
debating where I want to send this guy and use him. Probably continue to build up these areas. Nay. Yeah, this historical mode though is just so fun. It develops much more naturally. But it's still Civ rather than like, uh, I don't know, Crusader Kings or something. Um, let's see, we, did, we completed the campus. Let's go ahead and work on the library then. Until we can get people in the ocean anyways. There's not a point of getting settlers, though that's definitely what we're gunning for right now. Yeah, let's get the mine here. That'll help London. Just continuing to explore. I mean, this is kind of our first colony, right? Essentially. Five, it's still 573 BC. Now a war with Norway is probably our best bet if we want to expand through force. We could take their capital, but we wouldn't be able to hold it with these cities and they have walls. In fact, we can't really do anything with them until we get frigates, so. And that's when we're gonna have our golden age, probably go to war with like everybody. Okay, we completed the campus. Let's go ahead and get the uh, library up. We need as much science as possible. Falling a little too far behind from where we want, would like to be. And Amsterdam's working on repairing the holy site. And then we can also get everything else we need to repair. Or improve, I mean. Someone completed the great library. I wonder what we're doing in the rankings. Oh, middle of the pack everywhere except for maybe domination. That's funny. And I don't really know how we're going to try and win this. It's probably got to be through score or science. There's probably just too much, too many people in the world to win through domination. <laughs> We'll go next turn. Yeah, I already knew that about Cologne. Denounced again by Norway, that's fine. Let's actually get this guy right here to get that free promotion. Scotland having completed the builder. Probably should get a campus. We would lose the copper if we built it there. Though that would make a great... In fact, we could probably build it here would be best. Because then we could put the Royal Navy Dockyard right there. And putting the campus here would make it really good as well as another Royal Navy Dockyard here. Let's come chop this. And what do we want to chop out? I guess another builder, because we still have lots of other improvements to make. Let's go ahead and repair the shrine. Next turn we get to see where iron is, and that will be really nice and helpful. And that city-state's been defeated. That's fine. I'm also interested in creating a lasting legacy. Okay. Oh, we already oh, we boosted that, which means we must have gotten an iron mine. Oh, we literally did it the last turn. And that's really nice because iron and coal mines accumulate two more resources per turn and 100% production towards military engineers. That's okay, I guess. They provide two more charges. We didn't need to use them. We probably should build a military encampment at some point to make sure that we can use them. Amsterdam's probably the best place for that. Um, additional yields have been powered. For, okay. There's only industrial zones, that kind of stuff. Oh, 
Oh, the strongest naval unit you can build. I did not realize that. So... We actually almost want to hold off to build our dockyards until we unlock better ships. Like frigates. Or quadrimes, even. Let's grab masonry. We could get go get these, but then we would just get a bunch of... Yeah, quadrimes. We almost want to get the quad dreams unlocked and then start building the Royal Navy Dockyards. However, as soon as we get this unlocked, we're going to start cranking out settlers. Although we might start cranking them out earlier. Hmm. It's debatable. Yeah, I think we I think we want to get this and then grab that. Repair, repair, improve. And with that, we're going to build an encampment in this city. I'm not sure where is going to be the best place. Probably like right here. And then we don't want the flood to damage our defenses. Probably towards Germany, though. Seeing that we're, you know, not we're not happy with each other. Hmm. Okay. So now we can get that encampment. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's put it right here. Ooh, actually, right up on their borders isn't bad, but I think this is a little better. And our conquered city of Amsterdam is going to be like our land invasion hub, right? If we uh, start to uh, go to war with the rest of Europe, which is probably inevitable, the way Europe is. Okay, so this city's not growing. Uh, it should be... It's because it's trying to use all these dang mines. Should have been watching that a little closer. That should help it, though. Oh, man, that iron would be really nice. Any other unimproved resources? I don't see any. I could go explore this a bit if I wanted with this builder. It's not the worst idea, to be honest, since we can't get around that way. So I'm going to do that. Yep, still can't get around. We wanted to chop this, I believe. And put the campus there. Chopping this isn't bad either, since we can then put a mine there. Scythia is friendly, so we can make an alliance there, I guess, to friendship. They're friendly towards everyone, it looks like. I don't really have much to offer in source of deals, though. Okay, so now we could get marble and wine here. We'd have to give up. We don't really have much to give, do we? Give open borders. Maybe, maybe we give some diplomatic favor. Nice. That gives us a lot of amenities. We've completed the library in the capital, so now we are going to be able to upgrade. Magnus soon and then use him to boost a lot of settlers out of the capital. However, that's still We still have to get to our shipbuilding first. Which is actually a, a good reason to go there as soon as possible before we even get the Royal Navy dockyards as well. So with that in mind, let's uh, we could either get some more builders, not a bad idea. Or we could grab The shrine. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that real fast. Um, let's come here. I think I'm actually also pop him onto this just to kind of see what's over here. By getting a scout now that we're here, let's do that. Uh, just to come explore the world and get, see me as many things as possible. 
We're just gonna hold these uh, ships here until we can uh, cross deep waters and stuff. Thank you, thank you. If Armga was coastal, maybe we would attack them, but they're not, so. Someone built Machu Picchu. Good for them. Completed the library here as well. Let's go ahead and get the shrine. And let's send this scout forward and improve that. So we have foxes. So this is something we need to watch out for, obviously. An attack from Germany. We don't have really any defenses. And as soon as... In fact, we're going to do some chops, I think. Is this a hill? I wish. No, we need to... I think even more importantly, we need to buy... That. Because we can do a chop and then... A mine. To get... Uh, walls in just one turn. Scotland's not hurting too bad for houses. We'll build a mine there. So, okay, so they're making demands. We're going to refuse. But they are moving some troops forward, including catapults. So even if we do get the walls, it's only going to help us for a little bit, now that I think about it. Each of us is carving a stone. It helps, a but it's not. I've lived through some terrible things in my life. All right, let's take this. Whoops. Where'd that go? Oh, they went here. No, I don't want that. No, we're not really getting builders yet. We're not really getting so many builders right now. That's true. We should be getting. Let's see. Yes, I know. You just gotta need to, and you just need to remember to actually come back to that this time. Okay, so we'd like to get this wonder. Okay, so that's what we definitely want to do. Um, let's get walls. Oh, Geneva. Very nice. Let's take this, though. Getting that four gold is going to be really helpful, I think. More helpful than anything else that we can get. And we can chop these walls out next turn. We're going to need to spend the gold, though. Let's improve... Magnus, and then in probably we're gonna start cranking out some settlers here, I think. Especially once we know if we can, never mind, we know that the Netherlands have settled there. <sighs> okay, deep breaths. With that in mind, let's get this builder over here. Take it back. We might not be cranking out settlers, and that might have been a waste. We're still going to want some. So we still might use him and still might build a few, especially when we don't really have much else to build, which is pretty close to coming up. I would almost move him there now just to get some settlers out. Oops. My mouse, I think it's dying. Keeps not registering some of my clicks. However, that's got to be relatively new, so there still might be some more land here, not to mention Africa. So yeah, I think we're going to still use him. Um, I'm going to reassign him, Pingala, to Amsterdam just for a little bit. And we're going to assign Magnus to London and use him to get some settlers out. And we'll use our gold to get archers, to buy archers probably. In fact, 
we can get walls and archers here, we wouldn't be in too bad of shape. Okay, so we don't technically need to do a chop here, we're still going to. Archers would be 260. And we need to sell something. Okay, yeah, that's not going to happen. Something that they don't have, which is amber. They don't have any of that. Nay. They apparently don't need it, though. She needs anything. And has no gold per turn. Let's see if we get any iron. No. Okay, we accept that deal. That gives us a bit more gold. A little closer to getting an archer there if we need. And with Magnus in four turns, we need to wait two turns before we start working on that. So let's get the walls in in our capital. And then we will... Um, yeah. Then we will go to settlers. Let's see what France is like. And then we'll come over towards probably Italy. Maybe see some of this as well. Spain and then Italy and then move east. We're not at war with anyone. We can be friendly with... Russia now. They don't have anything we don't have. Hmm. I also would love to see Africa. See if there's a chance we can settle any of it. Most likely there's going to be the Congo, though, and at least Egypt or Nubia in the game. Again, we're only probably missing maybe five or six sieves, maybe eight sieves from the game. Though, a few have been eliminated. We do know that. Okay, Ancient Walls completed. Let's get the encampment in. That'll give two places of defense. And we're going to hold on to our gold until we can get... Uh, to, you know, we need it for an archer. A war with Germany is not ideal right now. Honestly, the, the best war we could do would be the Netherlands. They're obviously busy down here with all their troops. They don't have that big of an of a army. They're not at war with anyone. But we could take France, essentially. That'd be the best war we could have. the ancient walls. Let's start getting settlers out because Magnus is in. No place to put them yet unless we raise some cities, but that's probably not going to happen anytime soon. So we're probably just going to hold on to them onto our coastline. In the meantime, I've included ancient walls in Plymouth, which I'm just dying to rename York or something, but I'll hold off on that. We do need some more housing here, so it's not a bad idea to grab Honestly, some monasteries. Let's get a builder. And then Amsterdam, let's let's focus on um, the improvements that are good for this city. Speaking of that, let's get... We're going to need a Royal Navy Dockyard here. So we can either get troops, which isn't bad, or we can get a barracks, which could then boost our infantry. As well as how much supplies we can hold. And we can get, we should be able to get swordsman, right? No, we boosted it. We don't, we can't get him yet. We boosted it. With that in mind, Amsterdam has 7 of 11 housing. So if we harvested this marsh, it's not a bad idea, but it doesn't help us that much. that Paris or the French are out 
but uh, Amsterdam. Netherlands lost their uh, their capital. All right, so we got a builder. Let's continue to make improvements. All right, so there's France. Let's come down into uh, Portugal and Spain. I wonder if, you, if we had the city, if you could do enough canals to have a canal right here. That'd be epic. I think you'd have to have a city here and a city here, though, for that to work. Hey, we could put a city there. Oh. We can't get there, obviously. But. It's not a great spot, but at least we'd have another city on the mainland. Hmm, okay, I guess we'll just crank out a few settlers here. We have the uh, production bonus towards them. And we're not really doing anything else until we can get the, uh, the wonder that would be really nice to have in London. That's a little better. And then maybe queue up a shrine and walls. So our science is hurting a little bit. We're kind of middle of the pack. We have a lot of improvements to make. Just really bummed we never got that religion. That would have been really nice, really fun. Having completed the campus, let's... Yeah, let's work on a library. If they just have this one city, we still might be able to get some settlers down here to do enough. Okay, so we got, oh, we still got a free envoy there. What fact, what other missions do we have? Great General, Entertainment Complex, Entertainment Complex. I'd actually love to build one. Maybe get the Coliseum even somewhere like in Cardiff or London here in the center. Or Plymouth, actually probably the best city to get it. Every market and lighthouse building. That's going to be really helpful. But so is this. Geneva is probably the best place to start sending our envoys to boost our science. Of Dover are kind of annoying. <laughs> you can't ever. If you could build on them, which I think you should be able to, I think because the the wonder, right? It's the cliffs, not the massive space above them. It's kind of annoying. You can't um, build on them. If you could, that would make it much better. Our friendship with Greece has expired. Let's renew it. And I think we still have plenty of amenities. So let's actually check out those reports. Yeah, everyone's really happy, so we're good there. Could get more troops. More campus research grants. More builders. And I don't know, we could until... We're gonna be able to get markets soon, but we don't really want them. This is just a means to get to shipbuilding. 
into celestial navigation. This would also be really nice to be able to start building water mills. Iron would be nice. Man, this whole like jumbled is just so different, you know, from what I'm used to. But it's fun. Let's get. Hmm. Let's do that. How's the housing? It's pretty full. A ton, we're gonna be able to do that to do about it though. Oh, actually, it would be nice. We, it'd actually be worth spending the gold to grab the uh, fish here for that city for Plymouth and then improving the fish. Great, we have met a new city state, Fez, who is okay. We don't really care to be suzerain of him. Refused demand. Germany has a weak army. If we really wanted to focus on something. On expanding the English Empire, which we do. We want to build the biggest empire ever. Germany would be a great place to start. Conquering the center of Europe. Wealth consists. Um, but we, it would take, it'll take time to build up a, an army here in Amsterdam. Now we're going towards shipbuilding. We'll actually be able to put our, bring our units over here and then upgrade them. At least the archers and slingers. Speaking of, let's bring this guy here. In this direction. And. Right, so there is definitely land here that we can settle if we can get there. We've also discovered Africa. Hmm. So we're, I mean, obviously with 34 says we're not playing domination. We're, we gotta play like science or score. And even that might not be, I should have turned off this dumb turn limit for historical mode. And if it's science, it's too bad we have all these dang faith districts, holy sites, but it's fine for now. However, we could, take down someone like Germany who's getting a lot of science per turn and take their campuses for ourselves. It would just take a lot of work and infantry. We would need swordsmen at a minimum. Okay, we probably gotta wait till we have red coats and then we probably will try and take all of Europe or something. And until then we're gonna need things like campuses. and more cities. The good news is this uh, has no loyalty lost to settle here. Maybe People maybe we who cannot two. find time for recreation are sooner or later. Because we're not really getting builders. Um, I thought I'd, oh, I forgot again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Plus one housing for cities with at least two special districts, special districts not, not bad. Put this in for now while, we, while we're cranking out settlers. Oh, wow. Yeah, we can definitely get two cities here. So as soon as we have shipbuilding, we're bringing these two settlers down with probably some type of escort to come here and settle two cities. As well as maybe one here on Africa. Let's see. It would be one, two, three, four, be right here, so. Out of mind, let's actually keep this um, archer here and link them up. And we probably will send a warrior as well. It'd be really nice if uh, this warrior moved this turn. Yes, they did. And we are granted a free envoy. I accept the terms. Okay, there we go. Boom. With that, let's also move this gallon down. 
and we should be able to ping out where we want to settle and we can only fit one it looks like can't maybe we could put a city here and if we did that it'd be one two three four be good to settle there let's settle probably right here yes it's on flood plains but it's as close to Lisbon as we can and then we could still have a city here potentially Okay, it'd actually be great to buy this amber. London is full of districts. Plymouth is full, but can get one more in five turns. Although maybe less if we harvest this. I think we're gonna build like the Colosseum up here. Hmm. Yeah, your delegation's welcome. In the meantime, oops, I can either send this scout, that's probably the best thing, let's send the scout up here. Now we could renew the friendship, or if we decide to build up once we get shipping, we can move troops this way, and we could maybe invade the Netherlands. That's probably the, if we want to win, that's probably the best thing to do, and obviously we want to win. So, let's plan on that, on betraying them, but keeping our friends everywhere else. And that way we can conquer France and Spain slash Portugal. Fez is also under attack by someone. that in mind let's get entertainment complex let's see has someone built the Colosseum oh, nope must have an arena must be built adjacent to an entertainment complex owned by this city so it doesn't have to be on flat land or anything if we wanted to put it here it'd be within range of this city this city this city and one one two three four five six it would also be in range of London if you wanted the Colosseum here Probably the best place for it then. If we put it here, it'd also be one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's put the entertainment center down here. And then if I have another builder, which I don't, I would chop here and put a mine. We're gonna need they only have one coastal city. And we probably can't even get through Fez. If I can bring these two ships, I can send one up through the Mediterranean and send this guy down the coast of Africa. Of course, we'd like to settle other places than Europe, but we're going to have to be able to cross oceans to get to the Americas. I just realized we're already over an hour. Um, another builder is not a bad idea. We are going to get the mausoleum really soon, which will be really, really nice, and we're probably going to try and build that in London. I'm not sure where we could build it in London, now that I think about it. Hmm. Oh, we could build it here. All right, I don't think it's required on hills. Oh, it must be adjacent to a harbor. Okay, well, we're going to have to build it in Amsterdam. Or, like, Scotland, maybe. It would be pretty good, actually. All right. On all coastal tires for the city... Yeah, we'd have to build it, like, right here. And we actually need to get a harbor first. Is there anything else we should grab really fast? Not really. Yep, 
He has one build left. Let's come here and build farms. Is that nine of 13? Let's get farms going. You can go all the way to Russia and get the exact same thing. Or build a road that goes through here so our troops can move faster. Because I don't see any existing roads. And with that in mind, we can move our troops forward as soon as they hit. But we're going to need something a bit heavier than warriors, I think, with them having archers. And the wheel would actually give that. Heavy chariots would be really good. Let's grab that first. I don't have any walls. They don't appear to be building walls. The military strength is better than ours, but not much better. Let's put our troops down to where they will actually be of use as an invasion. Yeah, we want them here. And no sky. Hey, Matt Gandhi. Careful, he'll nuke us later. Okay, cool. So we've met Egypt. We could settle here, but we'd have some loyalty issues. And they're probably who's taking out Fez. That is true, you do, Netherlands. However, soon. Okay, so that's not nice. Yeah, basically, we're just gonna have to take out the Netherlands. Um, with that in mind, after the settler. We're going to send Magnus somewhere else because we'll have three settlers ready to go. Um, there were no real places to use them. And it's actually not bad because we can use them on other continents and we're just going to conquer the Netherlands. And we're going to switch to um, a conquering mode. Um, okay. Yeah, I think we're in good shape. Uh, I'm going to call it right there, but we do have... A lot of exciting things coming up, and this whole episode we'll be able to get to Amsterdam and get that sorted out. So we're doing really good. we got a good empire, but we have a long ways to go to make sure we win this. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you all have a good day, and I'll see you in the next episode.